Hello guys and welcome to another video. This is probably the last smooth owned video you are going to see off me now for this year. Because they've surprisingly moved off pretty quick this year. We On Newton we stopped catching them about 1st to the 2nd of September. We haven't had them since. Well the last hound we had was actually uh, Hutchins. Which is about a mark, about 10 to 15 minutes away from Newton Point. By car, of course. It's not too far. It's based in Puthcall. It wouldn't take you that long. It's just up from the pier, about 10 minute walk from there. But they moved off quick this year. It's very shocking. Because normally, right now, I'd be down like every weekend. Right now, it's the 24th of the 9th, 2020. And... They've moved off. So this was filmed on the 29th of August. But I've kept it till now. Just in case we did have another run of them. But we haven't sadly. But here's a video on Newton Point. Probably the final one now. Until I ta target COD through the winter. And some rays. But enjoy the last hounds of the year. The final hounds. Well hello guys and welcome back to Newton Point, where I've just had my first cast and landed an ounce straight away on a bit of a squid head and a tiny little section of hermit crab. I'll just get the hound and show you it now. There's the first hound of the session. Many more to come. I am going to crab. We've been picking hermit crab. I know you were squid heads from. But that is a lovely fish to start the session off. Here is Mason's lovely hound at 11 pound 8 ounces right there. Smile at the camera, Mason. There we go, there's a beautiful PB for him. Are you gonna let her go? Yeah. Let's go get him going back. What, what did the fish take? Oh, uh, hermit crab. Hermit crab. Because we can't get crab at the moment. He was hermit crab and I put a little bit of squid on it. I'll show you my bait now. Best to let him go down here, miss. Another beautiful fish. Come on. Okay, lift that line up. Just jump under there. There we go, put him in and we should see him go across the surface. Go on, buddy. I'll jump in the water in a sec. Come on, bud. There he goes, all across the surface. No, the other way, bud. The other way. Go on. There he goes, across the surface. No, we got to get him going. He's fishing down here at the moment. When we were setting our fish, goes, just had another nice run. Just coming up the rock over there now, guys. A little hermit crab with a bit of scud down with the pen off the because I've just been wrapping it. But the rods are all out of Anadonia. Let's get another one. So guys, I just had a slack line up here. Looks like it's swimming towards me. Blasted full of seagull, three ounce lead. That's all I use down here on a slow day. Hermit crab down the bottom, little squid head at the top. Make sure to clip them down, guys, because they'll get more distance, make it more aerodynamics, then it just all sits on one like that. Get a float 
with our faith. Hello guys and welcome back down to Newton Point where I've just had my first cam first cast and yes I have just landed another small bound and that was off full squid because at the moment I can't get crab so when the tide drops I pick it as I'm going down well I've just found a nice crinkly so that's what I got out at the moment nice crinkly velvet crab so out there at the moment is a part of that and a bit of squid so then I can get two casts out of it but I've just had a lovely small bound I'll go get a show you watch that rod for me There we go guys, there's another lovely smooth round, first one of the session. I'll show you the bait, me baiting up guys, because I know a few of you have been interested how I've been baiting up, because I'm catching these all day long now guys. So there we go, there's a nice look at the hound, I'll have a photo and I'll get her back. So welcome back guys, so here's the rig that I'm using. So as you can see the up there, that is a 2-0 main hook going down to another 2 main hook. They are Aberdeen's size 2 coming to 50 pound shock leader guys, to a metal grip or grip, whatever you call them, with two beads and a swivel. So it's just a normal pulley panel, panel pulley, whatever you call them. And that is a 50 pound class um, bait clip then. So guys, all I've got is, as you can see, the other half of the crabs are out at the moment. I just cut them straight up the middle when I get them on a hook because they're a bit crinkly like it is a bit hard I just squish them on the hook and then I bait elastic it so I will show you me doing that but I always keep I like panel hooks for the arms I find I hook up a lot better so all I do is I hook that through the head bury that in there get my bait elastic if it's in my pocket I am going to try to get a live run on camera today so then when it's on the hook I like to just crush it down i do the exact same with hardback crabs get your bait elastic and just bind that on basically so i'll get that done and then i'll show you the bait the man down there got some lovely lovely spider crab jellies he gave me the legs because i like the my legs so this is where we're at guys we've got one hook go into that nice bit i got this small piece of squid about the same size as that I'm going to lay across the back. So then you've got the crab scent coming out this side and the squid scent coming out this way. So I'm going to elastic that up and show you that. So guys, here is the finished product with the crab underneath and the hook showing on top. And of course, you see go crab. There we go. Let that soak in and then I'll be out in the sea. Basically got the rock to myself now, guys. Front of me, those two boys are float fishing and close in fishing for like little bass and other bits and pieces. So, I just had a little spike run. I think there's an hound gonna be sitting on there. So, I'm just gonna tighten them in. I think 
the feeling as I lifted it. There's a fish. It was hooked just in the tail over there, guys, and through the mouth. That is mad. That's my one in the tail and one in the mouth. There's the hunk. Time to get out, down. There's a whole squid and spider crab legs. Someone just let their kid go in the sea on an inflatable, they floated out there. 
Pretty dangerous down here, don't let your kids go out in inflatables. There is the next bit going out with, of course, your seagull crab on. That is my last cast, just gone out. It's got a whole squid on and two sand fields that I caught ages ago. But it's worth a go out there, see if it's like a great, great wandering. What I have had of the first cast would have, was actually squid and sandy. Then I landed a hound on it, it's probably gone for squid. But not bad guys, so that's my last cast. The winds have picked up a bit and the tide has turned. It's been about an hour since it's turned and no fish has showed up now for a bit. But still quite a few anglers down here. Two just left for there because they had a bit of an argument. But yeah guys, this is what I've been using today. It is thanks to that why I've caught so many hounds I believe, especially when I come down here with no crab. I got a bit of spider crab, but yes. But if any of you are interested in getting this, this is currently out of stock until the 29th. But by the time I film this, it'll probably be back in stock. So if any of you want this, use code FISHINGTOM for 10% off. They do bundles, guys. They do all different flavours such as squid. They've got so easy mix, which is one of my favourite flavours out there. But crab's my favourite for the hounds. They do squid. There is a range of different flavours such as kraken, designed by Shane, one of my mates. And it's absolutely amazing stuff. You can either drizzle it over the bit like I've been doing today or inject it in. So yeah, guys, there's the last cast. I'll catch it. If I don't catch, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If any of you ever want to come out onto Newton and meet me, just pop me a message on Facebook at Thomas England. And we can have a nice session down Newton if, you, if any of you want to catch a first hound or just catch a hound. Because I've helped a few boys in the last day catch their first hounds when I put a few boys on the mark. So thanks for watching. If I don't see you now, I'll see you in the next video.